C U R B sixty five. Okay, dear. So I told you uh, for new uh, whole respiratory system, we will try to remember some digit for this pneumonia. My mnemonic is seven eight thirty. Sixty ninety. This is my mnemonic. Seven eight thirty sixty ninety. You have to memorize this. If you can memorize this, already your curve sixty five you have memorized. What are these? First seven. Seven is what if your urea level is more than seven millimole. Okay, and then eight. Eight means if the mental test score that is known as AMT. Abbreviated mental test score is less. That means if patient is confused. If patient is confused means what? Her mental score will be le uh, less, right? Not high. So if AMT is less than or equal to 8, less than or equal to 8, then this is, this is our 8, okay? So this is our 7, then 8. Now come with 30. Urea, obviously, urea, if it is high, this is bad, right? Urea high means it is severe. Then AMT, then 7, 8, 30, 60, 90. What is our 30? It is from our BUP. If you remember again our BUP, that respiratory rate, respiratory rate. So this is our RR, which has to be more than 30. This is our P. This is our P. Okay, P means pneumonia, RR means respiratory rate. If you are following my lecture already, you know why I'm telling this, Bob. Okay, then 60 by 90, 60 by 90, this is the BP. BP what? Systolic, if you are counting like a diastolic, it has to be less than or equal to 90. And if you are counting the diastolic, then it is less than or equal to 60. So this is your curve. And what is 65? This is the age. This is the age. It is already in the name of the score. It is already in the name of the score. So if you can remember this 6, 7, 8, 30, 60, 90, so you can remember the CURP 65 score easily. So from that question, if the patient is more than 65, so your count if for each one, you will count like one. So if more than 65, like, like if the patient is like 76 years, okay? So you will count plus one. If respiratory rate is like 32, if 32 respiratory rate, okay? This is like an example I'm telling. So it will be like plus one. Like this, you have to count down. Like this, you have to count your score in the question, okay? And they will ask you, sometimes they will ask you directly to count your CARB score. They will ask you sometimes this uh, one of the particle of this CARB 65, okay? Or they will give you the scenario and you have to count it to find it. If it is mild, moderate, or severe, then you have to go for the treatment. So what is mild, what is moderate, and what is severe? So mild means mild or low severity. If you are counting mild or low severity, just a minute. Okay, mild or low severity. Okay. So if like mild, mild means what? It has to be zero or one. Zero to one, it is mild. Moderate, moderate it is two and severe. Severe it is three or more, okay? Three or more, three to five you can say, okay? So why this severity or CARB 65 actually, why they are classified it? Because of the treatment, in purpose of the treatment, okay dear? In purpose of the treatment, if mild OPD medication, just you will give the medication and send her back at home, discharge the patient, okay? If moderate, you cannot send him back to home. You have to admit the patient, but in a general ward, in a general ward, not in ICU. In a normal world, you will admit him and you will treat him. You cannot make him back to home. And if severe, the patient has to be in ICU. This is the treatment. And this is where you will send them. Okay. And now come, there are also difference between the treatment. Let me take the screenshot first, this one. Okay. Now, let me come with the treatment also treatment what the, uh, i mean mild moderate severe of course you need to start antibiotic right you need to start antibiotic generalized there is a generalized there is a 
like a protocol i management protocol is there if specific organism is not still found out if it is if you don't know if it is by the staph aureus or by lesionella if generalized pneumonia if generalized pneumonia there is a protocol by nice guidelines there is a guidelines okay so what is the management protocol in case of mild in case of mild where what you will do you will go for one drug regimen one drug okay dear it has to be your first line with amoxicillin it has to be with your amoxicillin okay if amoxicillin penicillin allergic then yes you can go for macrolides macrolides or oh, i'm sorry this macrolides is Okay, so macrolides or even you can go for tetracycline. This is for mild one drug regimen. You will prescribe and give him the prescription, send him back to home. This is our mild, right? OPD medication. Okay, dear. Now come, if it is moderate, you first, what? You first just uh, admit the patient, admit the patient. And for moderate and severe, for both, you will go for two drug regimen. Okay. There has to be two drugs. And one more thing, this, this one actually usually nowadays before it was five, seven days. Now they change the nice guidelines. This is now for five days. This is now for five days. It is uh, outdated in Maghrabi Sir's book. So please remember, mild is now a five days course. Okay, dear. Whereas the moderate or severe, it is seven to 10 days. It is seven to 10 days. Okay, so now what is the resume here? Resume here is two drug, dual therapy, okay? So dual therapy, what you can give here? Here you can give amoxicillin, amoxy, plus you can give with this macrolides. Macro. Okay, even if, instead of amoxy, you can use some other like uh, you can use uh, I mean cephalosporin drugs, ceftriaxone, or you can use tazosin that is piperacillin with tazobactam, or even uh, other macrolides. Okay, so here not only amoxicillin you can use ceftriaxone plus that macrolides, or you can use the tazosin plus macrolides. So whatever is in your option. You have to go for it. But remember, remember, this has to be dual. It has to be one drug. This is the change of mild and moderate. Okay. Now come with the severe. Severe, same like your moderate, dear. But mostly, mostly this is the IV. As the patient is in ICU, he's in severe. So may, uh, he will not have the capability to take orally. Okay, and you want it to work the antibiotic very rapidly. So whatever the combination of dual drug, mostly they're giving IV. That is the difference. Okay, usually macrolates, usually macrolates, they are trying to give orally because there is a chance of thrombophrebitis if you are getting, uh, if you are giving it by IV. Even in severe case, macrolates, they are trying first with oral only the macrolides, but other portion, it is with IV. It is with IV, I mean, the main antibiotic. That it could be amoxicillin or that could be ceftrax or tazosin, whatever it is, but usually IV. So the main fact is that very easily, if you are telling that this mild is with your, the mild, just let me, okay. So this mild, it is with your one drug. This is the moderate and this is the severe. This is the severe. So one drug, that one is for mild. And two drug, this one drug, and two drug for both. Two drug for both moderate and severe. Moderate and severe. That's it about our treatment of our pneumonia. Okay, dear? That's it. Now, come with the new thing now come uh, how you will differentiate the different types of pneumonia 
okay how you will differentiate this okay different type of pneumonia like staphylococcus it can be caused by staphylococcus aureus streptococcus pneumonia lesionella so many things are there so i will give you some clue for each and every one then i will go to the details okay dear okay so whenever you see let me check this white one i love the white okay so strepto streptococcus pneumonia streptococcus pneumonia this is usually this is usually if there is no other thing you cannot match with any other bacteria this is the most common one so this is the most common if if there is no indication no other thing you can match with okay so this is our most common form then usually they are giving like the even the sputum if they are giving usually they are giving the rust sputum the color rust sputum okay the specific thing please mute yourself uh, if something you want to ask you can ask no problem that time you can unmute yourself too okay let me unmute okay okay the important thing is that there will be herpes labialis so if they are telling there is herpes labialis after uh, in the scenario and there is pneumonic like sign symptom in your scenario it is definitely with streptococcus pneumonia this is your important clue here this is your important clue here and chest x-ray what you will get usually they're getting consolidation here usually they're getting consolidation so this is also important clue so this two clue is very important what are these the herpes labialis and the chest extra with your consolidation. This is for your streptococcus pneumonia. Now, if it is by staph or 